In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this ghost effect in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start off by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, I already have my clip down on the timeline, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on that clip, and I want to duplicate it, so I'm going to hold down Alt and click and drag up at the same time, and that should bring that second clip just above my first clip. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that clip, go right click, and then go down to speed slash duration, and this is where I can make the effect look really dramatic. So this is going to be specific to your video, for this video, I want to do 95%, but you can change this to whatever you want. Just know that the lower the number, the more dramatic the effect is going to be. And just press OK. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a spot in the timeline where I want the effect to begin. And right here is pretty good for me. So I just click and I'm going to drag this over. And then I'm going to go to the spot where I want the effect to end. Right here is pretty good for me. I'm just going to click and drag this over. I'm going to make sure I click on that top clip, go over here under effect controls, and I'm going to change opacity to 50%. Then I'm going to go over here, click on these little arrows, go down to effects, and I'm going to type in cross dissolve. I'm just going to click and drag this onto the beginning of my clip, as well as the end of my clip for the effect. And this is going to make the effect fade in and out really smooth. So I'm just going to shorten this just a little bit. You can adjust this to however you like. Then I'll play this back. And that looks pretty good to me. If I don't like the way that this effect looks right now, what I can do is I'll again right click, go down to speed, duration, and I can change this number down to whatever I like. It doesn't have to be 95%. You can change it down to 90%. You see, whenever I play it back, the effect's gonna be a lot more dramatic. So you just gotta play around with this number and see what's gonna work best for your specific clip. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.